Hi, and welcome back. So this is the third part on our uh, Fast API and HTMX tutorial series. So, so far up to this point, we've gotten where we have set up our SQLite database. We've gone through connected uh, Python to the SQLite database. We've uh, started setting up our roots on Fast API. In the last video, we started setting up our Jinja 2 templates and then uh, setting up HTMX so that we can dynamically load our posts into our simple social media website. Um, and now in this video, we're gonna start uh, take a quick detour and go through some CSS. Um, Cause as you recall, our website uh, doesn't look very professional looking. So let's take a look at what our website currently looks like. So right now uh, we can add a post um, and it'll dynamically update. And the cool thing is that, uh, I, I'm not sure if I pointed it out in the last video, but like HTMX, the way this works is, uh, you know, I can do like, let's say, uh, so you can see it updating. Uh, I can just do a test post here. And uh, whenever I submit this query right here, it's actually not uh, reloading the page. It's actually just dynamically, just just uh, this little container right here is actually all that's getting updated. So this, this portion of the HTML. So whenever I do that, submit the query, you can see it added here, but it never actually reloaded the page. Uh, so that's one of the really cool things about HTMX is that you can dynamically update your page, um, but you don't have to you know, do the overhead of constantly reloading. But at the same time, you don't have to you know, be an expert on a, a full-blown uh, front-end framework like React or Vue. Um, so it's really cool, especially if you're kind of a back-end person that just wants to quickly prototype something uh, for your team internally. You can really uh, do some really neat things with it. Um, so we're going to go and continue on with the CSS, and like I mentioned, uh, this isn't really that great. Uh, so we're just going to use a uh, simple framework called uh, Bulma. Uh, so let's go and take a look at the documentation here. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to use Bulma.io. Um, it's kind of a similar framework to Bootstrap, but I think it's a little bit a little bit easier to set up, um, especially if you're kind of a not really a front end uh, expert. Um, there's really not a whole lot of CSS you really need to know for this. Uh, so sort of like the HTMX, we're just going to go through and just CD into it. So it has on here on the starter code. We can just copy this uh, link reference here. And uh, let's go and put that into our code base. So let's go here into our index. And then we'll just put it up here in the header file. So we'll put this here in the oops, in our header file. And let's just paste that in. So now um, the first thing we want to do is this thing has some really cool... Um, really cool little elements on here. Um, and I think one of the most popular ones on here is gonna be the card. So if we can go here to components uh, card, it'll kind of give us a, uh, an overview of how we set up cards and kind of how they look like. So ideally what we wanna do is all these posts, we want them to be you know contained in these little cards here. So basically all we need to do is we need to wrap into a diff container uh, with the class of card. So we'll go ahead and uh, start with that. So let's go to our post here. Uh, so for each one of these, we want this to be a div, right? So let's do a div class is equal to card. And that, that'll, let, uh, that'll let the CSS know that that's a card. And so what's the next thing that we need? So uh, we need to give it a header. Uh, so again, we'll have to you know give it another div with a class of header. Yeah, so we'll have to give it another div. Uh, actually, we give it a header, a header heading. So we'll go through and give it a header, a header, and this will be class is equal to header, I believe. Let's see, it was header correct? C card header. Sorry, apologize. Card header. Card header. And let's just kind of format this up here. Okay, so let's see. Um, actually, we want the header just to be these H3 blocks, correct? So let's just put the H3 block in there. And then uh, finally, I think on the text, we just want to put that in a content uh, content class. So uh, card content. So yeah, card content on here. So let's go and put in our card content right here. So this will be another div. And this class is going to be equal to, again, card-content. Okay, 
So let's save this and let's go back and uh, take a look at our page and see if it uh, updates correctly. So let's reload this. So as you can see, uh, we actually uh, started getting a pretty different layout here. Um, so it actually uh, defaulted to my uh, system settings, which is a, a dark background from Bulma. And we can see uh, we started getting cards right here. So now these are wrapped up in cards. Um, so this is already starting to look a little bit better. Um, but the next thing is uh, we don't really want this to take up the whole uh, the whole space of our um, of our web page right here. So ideally, uh, we kind of want it to you know more like take up maybe like the center portion of it. So if we go back to our Bulma documentation on here, go back here and do columns. So the basics for columns is um, we want to wrap uh, basically our everything in a, in a column column context right here. So if we go back, uh, this will be we'll just wrap the whole page in it. So let's go back to our main index and we'll do this all in a column index. Uh, all this will be in a in a column. So we have a div class is going to be equal to columns. We'll do this all within a uh, a column context. So let's see on our documentation. Uh, we'll want to have a column right here. And so we're just going to have this all in one big column. So we'll go back to our code and we'll do another div. Div, this class will be equal to a column. Okay, so if let's go back and uh, save this and reload our page. So we don't really see anything yet, but we can start modifying these columns now so that we can uh, space it out a little bit better. So let's go to the sizes tab here. Uh, so what do we want? So we can maybe let it take up half the screen right here. So we can say is half. So we'll go back to our code here and under the column we'll say column is dash half. And we'll go back and reload. Oh, it is half. We don't need this. Okay, so go back here. And then we can see everything is now taking up half the page. Uh, but now we want to offset it, so we want it to all be centered, right? So let's go down and see how we offset. Um, so the easiest way here is probably just say is offset one quarter. Uh, so I'll kind of put it right in the middle of the middle of the page for us. Is offset one quarter. I believe that was how we say it there. Let's see if that fixes it. And there we go. So now we get it all centered in our page. So everything's starting to look better here. Um, but the next thing is uh, the form is still needs a little bit of work here. Uh, it's still not looking very professional on the form. So let's go back to our Bulma and let's see what we can do about this form here. So we'll want to do, uh, let's see our form. So here's our form right here. So let's go to the general and see what we need to do here. Uh, so supports form, button, input, text area, and label. So that's good, that's what we have. Um, so let's, so we'll, on the inputs, we'll wanna give them a class name of input. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we'll go back to the post. This is where our form is at. So on these, um, sorry, our, in, our form is on the main, main page here. So we'll say this is an input, right? So this will be a class. Class is equal to input. And again, on this one, the class will be equal to input. Class is equal to input. And then let's see how this looks. Okay, so that's looking better. Um, so let's see, what do we need to give the class name for the button? So let's see, let's get a button down here. Um, let's see where we have the button. So they give a, on the buttons, they give it a class of button. So we'll go back and give this a class of button. So now this is a button. And then uh, let's see here. 
So we got that, and then let's see if we can give maybe if there's anything we need to do with these labels here. Uh, so the label, we'll give them a, a class as well. Uh, so we'll say again, the, class, the label is just gonna be a class of label. So let's go back to our labels here. And say for the labels, we'll give them a class of label. And then let's go back and see how that looks. Okay, so this is looking uh, much better now. Um, so the next thing we'll wanna do though is we probably wanna like also kinda space this out. So um, I think for the, for the form, I'm actually just gonna wrap this up as well into a card. Uh, so let's go ahead and wrap that into a card. So we'll say this is a card right here. We'll say this is a card header. Card dash header. And we'll actually just take these heading tags away. And then we'll say this right here is gonna be uh, the class card content. And let's format this. And then let's reload and see how that looks for us. Okay, so that's starting to look a little bit better there. Um, let me see if I can do something with this heading here. So let's see how we can uh, do the headings for the card. So let's go back to our card. So the card header, so we'll give it a card header title. It's probably what we wanna give, uh, give our title on there. So let's see, on here they give it a P class with card header title. So we'll go ahead and do the same just to keep it consistent. So let's go back to here and say uh, this is a paragraph card header dash title. So let's see how that looks. See if we get that looking a little bit better now. And yeah, now we can see this is starting to look a little bit better here. Um, and yeah, so I think uh, this is actually looking uh, pretty good. There's really not much else that we, you know, from the aesthetics point that we probably need to do now. Uh, we got the basic uh, basic aesthetics looking all right. Um, and just so we can just still verify that this is still working. Uh, verify works with CSS. Yes, it works. And let's submit this query. And if we scroll down, yep, we can still see it's still working. So. Overall, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this layout for now. Um, you can go in and mess with it and see uh, what all you want to do to make it look as uh, nice as you want. I'm not really um, much of an artist myself, so I, I usually just want it to look somewhat not abusive on my eyes. Um, and so I think this kind of fits that purpose. So I think I'm going to wrap up this video right here. Um, this was a pretty short one, but the next one is going to be much longer. So the next one, we're going to get into the... Uh, actual authenticating. So we're gonna set up a username, um, have them you know, sign in with a password, authenticate in. Uh, we're gonna use JWT tokens to um, have them use a token on our front end so that we can authenticate on the back end and you know, have a session set up. So it's gonna be really exciting. So um, looking forward to part four. So hope you'll come back and, uh, and we'll get at it. So see you next time. Thank you, bye.